Tonight's headlines are brought to you in part by Coldwell Energy and McDonald's. Tonight on the Channel 2 News, a Senate committee meets on Capitol Hill to talk about impeachment procedural issues. Also tonight, the House, Senate, and Governor square off over retiree bonuses. And a pre-law program scheduled for summer has some unique opportunities. In sports, we'll take a look at a young footballer who has quite the kick. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Sorry I haven't been showing up. I was caught off guard when we first met in person. Sorry, I should have told you right away. Everything seems so perfect chatting with, with you online already. I just didn't want things to change. Can you give me another chance? Are you sure this is going to work out? Wait. I have something to show you. I have been figuring this out. And I have been learning sign so I can get to know you better. I like you no matter what. There you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba. Day, Tirwami, and good evening, Commonwealth. We start tonight on Capitol Hill. Senate committee met this morning on Capitol Hill to discuss the impeachment resolution sent over by the House. Senator Frank Cruz. The committee unanimously adopted the the impeachment uh, rules of the Senate. So this will go before the full Senate members in the next uh, session for for passage. I cannot uh, elaborate for doing this uh, because this is a joint committee, uh, committee uh, a meeting uh, between the JGL and uh, and the EGI, and I cannot uh, I cannot comment at this point until the consensus of both both committee, you know, uh, uh, then and also after we pass the on the, before the full Senate members we make the rules. Uh, but at this point, I cannot comment for doing that. House of Representatives this week rejected Senate amendments that would give Governor Torres 100% reprogramming authority along with a $1,000 bonus to retirees. 
Senate version of the retiree bonus bill includes changes that we can only accept or reject. The main changes are increasing the bonus from $500 to $1,000 and granting the governor 100% reprogramming authority. The governor is still within his 25% reprogramming authority and does not need 100%. That was stated by the Secretary of Finance during one of our uh, Ways and Means meetings. He was impeached in this house for reckless and irresponsible government spending, among other things. And now we want to give him 100% reprogramming authority. I don't believe that's appropriate and I don't support that. Governor Torres continues to enrich his beneficiaries who in turn donate to his reelection campaign via sole source contracts. Governor, for example, one of many, but for brevity, I won't do, use too many, but Governor Torres' uh, sister-in-law's brother, Jesse Ogo, made $257,000 in 17 days of sanitizing the Department of Corrections, spraying for only about an hour and a half on the average each day. He made an additional 5,000 a day for sanitizing the multi-purpose building and an additional 2,700 a day for sanitizing the MCAT tent. Altogether, he cleared well over $500,000 in two months of sanitizing. Blue Continent, doing business as KKMP, was paid more than $700,000 to lead and rebroadcast his Zoom press conferences. Colleagues, where is the logic in giving this governor more power over public funds? Where is the justice in that? There is none. It would defy common sense and conscience to do so. The fact of the matter is that had the Senate simply passed the bill that we sent them weeks ago, the retiree bonus would be on the governor's desk by now. Please know that we understand your frustrations and financial hardships, as this has already taken about a couple of months. We thank you for your patience, and we humbly ask for your continued support and understanding, and we ask that you allow us to do our part responsibly for the betterment of our government. Representative Staffler. Hungan. Representative Gengtemai. Our. Representative Yumo. Yes. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Mr. Speaker, all 20 members voted yes. Thank you, Clerk. With all 20 members voting yes, the uh, motion by the floor leader to reject and move to conference committee hereby passes. Governor Torres responded to the House's decision with a statement released yesterday. Quote, the House was presented with the opportunity to give retirees a larger bonus in their session, but chose to reject the Senate's amendment. I'm very disappointed at their decision to do that, especially because it has already been almost three months since the initial retiree bonus was supposed to come out. If they really cared for the retirees, they would make this bonus happen for them because they are the appropriating branch of government. Paraphrasing here, the governor goes on to say that the decision was because of the House's own political agenda and their dislike for him. He says, we may have differences in opinions on how to spend funds, but I make the decisions that I make based on what is in the best interests of the people of this commonwealth. It's a three-week program that will help prepare you for law school. NMI Judiciary will be holding the 2022 Summer Pre-Law Program. Nicole Torres-Ripple is a committee member. The main intent of the program is really to give uh, students or participants a first look into uh, law school and what that's about. Um, you know, part of that is I'm sure as Carmen and Savannah will describe, involve cold calling is what they call it. Um, part of it involves a lot of you know, analysis, critical thinking and so forth. And, and a huge portion of it is uh, legal writing, which students will have the opportunity to do um, and will have the opportunity to argue their first you know, mock 
case before a panel of esteemed judges and justices. Participants will also have an opportunity to take part in a law school admission test prep program. Law school professors will give lectures on legal topics related to the NMI. This year, we're very fortunate to have two daughters of the Marianas, um, Rose Kuzan Villazor and Yoon Hee Han. They're both law school professors who will be serving as instructors of the program, teaching property and legal research and writing. Two alumni from the program say the course helped pave the way for them in their careers. Being part of the pre-law program really um, provides the framework and the stepping stones if you are looking into a career in the legal profession. Um, like Nicole said, it really helps you um, hone in on your analytical skills. It helps with public speaking. I know part of um, the program that we took, we had to present an argument in front of judges and justices, and that was um, an experience that I had not had before. So it helps. Um, it helps you work on these skills that I think are necessary, not just uh, in the legal profession, but in your everyday career. It really did expose myself to the realities of what to expect in law school, what type of skills I needed to succeed. Um, it teaches you how to analyze, critically think, and speak in front of people. Um, and it, it laid that foundation so early on, even before law school. So now, you know, now that I'm, I'm talking in front of judges um, and with co-counsels, I'm, I'm more comfortable because of that. And once you have all that down, the fears of law school, the fears of um, speaking in front of people, they don't seem so big anymore. So that's why I'm so grateful uh, for the program. And that's really what helped me succeed in law school and after. Application period ends on March the 1st. Those who are interested may apply online at jotform.com. Application fee $100 for residents and $200 for non-residents. District Judge Ramona Manglonia, Supreme Court Justice Perry Enos, Chief Prosecutor Chester Hines, and Attorney Robert Torres, also alumni of the program. We're so privileged to have an opportunity to learn from professors, especially those that uh, two professors uh, women who were here in the CNMI, who called the CNMI home at one point um, and come back and teach us and share their experiences. Um, and, you know, it's such a great opportunity to network to and, um, and to learn from these people and to create bridges. And, and um, I just want to encourage everyone to apply for it if, if this is something you're interested in. And even if it's not the legal field um, to, to explore. It's not only an opportunity for you to help um, grow in your career and your professional development, but also to network and meet people that you might not necessarily have the chance of meeting. Um, there are a lot of networking events. Um, you get to meet judges, justices, lawyers. So take advantage of the opportunities that are provided to you. And like Carmen said, even if you're not um, sure that you want to enter into the legal profession. These are skills that you can take with you um, in other areas of your career and your life. If you have an inkling that law might be for you, but you're just not sure, um, if you are, you know, if you've ever participated in forensics, while out here in school or in mock trial or in the attorney general's cup speech competition um, or anything or even Lincoln Douglas debate. You know, this is your opportunity to see whether the law is for you. And I really encourage, um, you know, encourage anyone interested to apply and to see, to take it from there, see what happens. You never know, you never know where this may take you.
One of the best gifts we can give ourselves is a healthy diet. At Gold's Gym, our pre- and post-workout formula is loaded into every smoothie, giving you a satisfying meal with fewer calories. Perfect to enhance a workout or replace a meal, and you don't need to be a member to visit the Shake Cafe. This month, try our Strawberry Peach Cobbler Smoothie of the Month for just $5.50. It's got great stuff in it like soy milk, strawberries, bananas, peaches, and granola. 458 calories of energy, 12 grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. Fast food that is good for you and tastes great. Shake it up. Gold's Gym. Garibay. The COVID-19 vaccine is a great way to diminish the spread of the coronavirus and getting our daily lives back to normal. I want people to feel safe and comfortable when they're around me. I understand that there's so much anxiety surrounding COVID and I want to do my part in reducing that anxiety. You want it to protect myself, my patients, my family, and my coworkers. I have students who also have um, underlying health issues and I know that this is my responsibility to take care of myself but also to protect them and their families. I encourage our community to go and get vaccinated, for it is our greatest hope to conquer the spread of coronavirus. Get vaccinated, ask questions, do it for our community. For the Marianas. Get vaccinated, CNMI. Marianas Tourism Education Council, or MTEC, now accepting applications for scholarships. They will award a $2,000 scholarship and a $1,000 scholarship for two high school seniors who have been members of the my wave club for at least one year in high school graduating high school seniors pursuing higher education are eligible to apply application deadline is april 29th to be eligible you need to have at least one year membership in the my wave club a gpa of 3.0 or higher recommendation letter an essay submission of 300 to 500 words also an acceptance letter from a university or college and submission of the My Wave Club Community Involvement Summary. Applications are available at the MVA office on Beach Road. The first MTech scholarship was issued in 2017. Off at AC and Amai, Guam, Husia, Isaiah Uggen, and here's what's making news on Guam. If you missed the link, you missed a lot as Decision 2022 is already heating up. KUAM Sabrina Salas Matanani reports. Former Governor Felix Camacho firing back, saying, don't worry about me, watch your back. He's responding to a Democratic Party of Guam press release following his announcement that he would no longer sit on the sidelines and decided to run for governor with Senator Tony Atta as his running mate. The Democrats called his time in office as unremarkable and unmemorable. Typical response, smoke and mirrors. What's happening is they are the incumbents right now. And so they try and bring up my record and say, look at Camacho. But they don't want you to look at them. They don't want the people of Guam to look at their record. What have they done in three and a half years? That's gonna, it's a referendum on their performance. And the question is, do the people of Guam want Lou and Josh for another four years? Or are they willing to go with another leader? And let me remind you of this. There may be a primary election on the Democratic side. If Mike Sinicola steps forward and says, I'm going to take them on, I'm telling you, this guy's going to bring a fight. And instead of worrying about me right now, they better look behind their backs and see that there's a young man coming up within their own party that's going to take them on. There's been no formal announcement, but the congressman has said repeatedly that he is seriously considering running for governor, facing off with incumbent Governor Lulian Guerrero in the primary. So where does the Democratic Party stand? It's clear from an interview on The Link, party chair Tony Babalta is all in. I'd love to try and elect Democrats. I, 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 respect, all, I respect all Democrats because I think uh, at, at, uh, at a fundamental level, we, we, all have different, we all have similar core values that we want to uh, try and uh, implement and effectuate to better the lives of, of those who call Guam home. Um, uh, I'm, I'm under... I mean, I'm the Democratic Party chair because, uh, in large measure, because Governor Leon Guerrero wanted me to be the Democratic Party chair. She's the titular head of this party, and the ti and and so the party supports the incumbent. Uh, and 
I think it's pretty clear what uh, uh, what I what I need to do, which is to try and keep the incumbent in office. Reporting for KUAM, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matt Tanani. The author of the adult rec- recreational use law fired up about the AG signing off on the Cannabis Control Board's rules and regulations, which provides guidelines for the licensing and sales of marijuana on Guam. Senator Clint Rogel says the next three months are important. The first thing that has to happen is uh, by law, there's public hearing is required on it. And then from there, again, it's, it's up to the legislature how to proceed if the legislature wants to, you know, amend the rules or reject them or adopt them as is. And then uh, there's nothing that says it has to go before the body. And so, again, the good news is if nothing happens uh, because there's whatever reasons it's being stalled for whatever reasons, or there's some kind of hang up for whatever reason in the legislature, then in 90 days, um, they lapse into effect. It has been legal for adults on Guam to smoke marijuana for recreational use since 2019. And stay informed 24 seven by checking out KUM.com or by downloading the KUM News app available on iOS or Android. Reporting for KUM News, Guam Lucia Isaiah Ogden. Need a new phone? Trade in now and get up to $500 off our best 5G devices. Trade in your older phone in any condition and step up to better savings and speeds only our 5G network can provide. Check out our website and catch up on the best mobile experience. Trade in now. Docomo Pacific, better together. The Tan Su Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Hey, golfers, come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass, and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time, and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. Sorry I haven't been showing up. I was caught off guard when we first met in person. Sorry, I should have told you right away. Everything seems so perfect chatting with with you online already. I just didn't want things to change. Can you give me another chance? Are you sure this is going to work out? Wait. I have something to show you. I have been figuring this out and I have been learning sign so I can get to know you better. I like you no matter what. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Buenas sports fans.
I worked on my weaknesses and made them my strengths. Young Star Shining brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Another member of the NMI Women's Under-18 National Team, a senior from Saipan International School, 17-year-old Julianne Hall is our young star for tonight. Uh, my name is Julianne Hall and I'm 17 years old. Um, I attend Saipan International School and I'm currently a senior. Hall started playing this sport at a very young age. So actually my older brother was playing soccer and then my mom just thought that it would be interesting to put me in the same sport so I started playing when I was around five. Volleyball is another sport that she loves to play. Um, I play volleyball. I've been playing volleyball for my school since middle school and all throughout high school and I play in a couple like tournaments that they have outside of school in the community. Hall has been a member of the national soccer team for five years. I've been part of the national team for quite a while. I first joined when I was about 12 years old, so that's like five years. And I honestly feel um, I'm very blessed and I'm very grateful because I have a lot of opportunity to be you know, playing a sport that I love and also being able to learn. And so being part of the national team has just given me opportunity to grow as a player and honestly as an all-around person. So it's been very rewarding for me. Being a member of the national team requires a lot of commitment and determination. While the trying out process might not seem too hard to remain a player within the national team is quite challenging. You know, we train all year round, so you have to be committed to the sport. You know, it's not like a local league where you can choose when you want to come, when to have fun. You know, there's a lot of serious aspects that you have to take into consideration and you have to make a commitment and make a decision if being part of the national team is something that you want to do. So it's very serious and I feel like it does take a lot of mental and physical like qualities that you need to perform. Representing the CNMI as team captain is her biggest achievement so far. Um, I feel like my biggest achievement has been being able to represent as team captain on for a few tournaments. Um, I've been team captain for, I've been team captain in tournaments to China, Tajikistan, and South Korea. And I feel like it's been very rewarding for me and I do feel like I've worked hard for it, but that's really like my biggest achievement within the sport. And here is her advice to those who would like to try this sport. If you really love it, you should go out and pursue it. And you don't have to be like me where you play the sport your whole life and then that's the only way you'll get in. No, I've seen a lot of players who get interested at a maybe older age, like around 14 years old, but that doesn't decrease your chances of being able to play. As long as you put in the effort and the commitment, you can get in the same way as anyone else can. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking, Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. Hi, I'm Dre, one of the personal trainers here at Goat's Gym, and today we're going to show you a Bulgarian split squat, a fantastic lower body exercise that should be a main staple in your training. Now the first thing we want to address is the rear foot placement. Now whether it's toes on or toes off, just find what's comfortable for you. The bigger issue we want to tackle is the height of the box or bench. You see when you set up on a box or a bench that's too high, 
that inherently puts an aggressive stretch on the front of your hip, oftentimes that sensation will take away from the working leg, the leg that's on the floor. And when you start to add load in this faulty position, you're bound to run into some problems, particularly if you got some mobility restrictions. So Jamila's gonna set up, she's gonna descend with control, and from there just stand tall. Partly sunny with isolated showers, east-northeast winds around 16 miles per hour with gusts as high as 21. Tonight mostly cloudy, isolated showers, east-northeast winds around 17 miles per hour with gusts up to 22. I have 84, low 75, 74% humidity. Tomorrow mostly cloudy, scattered showers, breezy with the northeast winds 18 to 23 miles per hour with gusts as high as 30. High of 85, low 75. Marine forecast, small craft advisory is in effect through early Monday morning. Be careful out there. Combined seas of 9 to 11 feet will likely continue through the weekend. Sunrise, 6.36 a.m. High tide at 1.20 in the afternoon. Low tide at 8.09 a.m. Sunset, 6.23.